Hello guys and welcome back to the Titans franchise and today I'm bringing you the wildcard playoffs as I did get the number three seed and if I win this I will be traveling to New York so the Titans haven't really been playing well the last couple of weeks and Chris Johnson breaks off about a six yard chunk or seven yard chunk excuse me yeah, six, seven yards to the 41. And he breaks it! Midfield! Still going! To about the 45 yard line. Good staple. Or a staple of good running there. The last pass attempt Diaz had, it was picked off. Christian Sneed to the 25! And down at the 22-yard line. If the Chiefs win, they have to battle Denver. But can the Chiefs finally get past the Titans in, in Nashville? As their road to the playoffs has ended here the last couple of years. And Boscape gets that for about five yards. High formation again. And Williams sits down and complete pass. He was looking to go to Williams on that play. Third down and five. Boscape! First down inside the one yard line. Williams dropped in the end zone. And that will be the end of the first quarter. With the score, Tennessee nothing. Kansas City nothing. Straight run up the gut, untouched. Touchdown, Tennessee Titans. That's a nice statement drive after a couple of losses. And now, Rob Barone is to kick off. I was thinking about wearing my 99 alternate uniforms, so that's what I'm going to call them. But I thought, no. I played a bit too many games, you know. But now, let's see what Jamal Charles can do as a counterpart. I think they have Heath Miller as their tight end. Castle back. He is sacked! I think that was Tony Brown, the defensive end, getting the sack on that play. Only a four-man rush. No, wait, it was Jason Jones, sorry. Man, they're just running clock out. I don't understand it whatsoever. They don't play aggressively. They're down, they don't play aggressively either, apparently. Hold on, maybe if I back up. And Jamal Charles is stood up for no gain. Timeout, Tennessee. I would think so because Kansas City burned a lot of time on that other play. Dwayne Bow changes sides. The other wide receiver lines up as a tight end. And Jamal Charles gets about three yards, three or four yards to the 20 yard line. Making up for that sack yardage. But didn't get anything more. Fourth down and 10 and the Chiefs will have to punt. Moss is actually the second string running back. And he breaks it to the to the 42 yard line and that is where the Titans will start trailing by or leading a, by a touchdown already. Diaz is back in shotgun. Get us caught! 40 yard line out to about the 39 yard line. Mm -hmm. 
I formation. 22 seconds to go as they snap it. And Chris Johnson, look at that clean grass. Duke that man. 16 yard line. A 15 yard line. Timeout with one second to go in the first half. And Rob Baronis to make this a 10 point game going into the second half. And it's good. And that's. Wait, it's not. Stop celebrating. And that's the end of the first half with the score Tennessee 10, Kansas City nothing. We look at some first half stats here. As Tennessee's just taking it to the Chiefs right now. The Chiefs could still come back from this, so I'm like nervous still, but I doubt it. Man, this this game feels like it's gonna be shorter than the other games. I just feel like it. Single back in the backfield for Matt Castle. As he draws back to throw. Pressured. Incomplete. The Chiefs just haven't really had much offense. They, they need to run with Charles. Baldwin is now in a trips formation with Bo and Heath Miller, the tight end. And Jamal Charles runs it for about three yards. Third down and three. I suspect a pass. So, three down lineman. Nope. And he doesn't get the first down. I think the spy really helped there. But it will be fourth down and one. And he will just let it go out of bounds. And they will start at the 19 yard line. Jeremy Diaz trying to lead the Titans to the first playoff victory as a starter. Throws it! Johnson! 50! And out of bounds at the 46 yard line. Huge play of about 35 yards. I formation again. And he is hammered in the backfield for a loss. Shotgun for Diaz. Jeremy Diaz drops. Almost intercepted. Could they actually hold the Titans here? We shall see, my friend. We shall see. Halfback drop the middle! Look at that hole! 10, 5, touchdown, Tennessee. Man, they're just asserting their revenge here. I mean, really? They're just showcasing their skills. But if Tennessee would have lost one more game on the season, they would have had to be the fourth seed. Because we went like 12 and 4. Yeah. And he stopped inside the 15-yard line. The 13. Kansas City still searching for the first first down of the game. Just really hasn't had anything. And yet you had that whole line back. And Jamal Charles gets about seven. Could they try to make this thing interesting, or will Tennessee run all over them? Two, one, that's the end of the third quarter with the score, Tennessee 17, Kansas City nothing. The reason why, if Tennessee went 11-5, and five, they'd be the number four seed because with Heath Miller in motion. 
Keith Miller just dropped it. Third down and three coming up. This is the best third down they've had. Anyway, since since the Chargers said the tiebreaker against me, that's why I would have the four seed. And it's caught! Brady! Not no, not Tom Brady. That was bad. Steven Tollick. You give him five free yards like that. I, I thought of Oh. It's a mid foul that stops the clock. Not a pre-snap foul, yeah. They had that in the Thursday night game. And he dropped back. Ooh, Brady is crunched. I just had to think of the right word to describe that. These Chiefs, t this Chiefs team needs to score him fast. Protection breaks down. Intentional grounding. That will bring up like fourth down and fifteen. Yeah. Oh, wait, third down and fifteen. Excuse me. So you have about two downs to pick this up. Yeah, I'd run it. Nice chip block on ball. And Dwayne Bow. It's gonna outrun Michael Griffin, the safety. Touchdown, Kansas City Chiefs. I'm making this thing interesting. Extra point is good. You need, you need those to be good. Right now, you go for the onside kick attempt. And that was Spotto. He's either the third or fourth string running back. Single back in the backfield for Diaz. They bring pressure incomplete. Diaz lines up with second and ten at the 44, Christian Sneed can't hang on as he is walloped. And not walloped, but just hit hard and dropped the ball. Three down linemen for Kansas City. They drop a incomplete intended for Bo Scaife. And now there will be a punt from Richardson. Oh, what a nice punt. What a nice punt to about the one yard line. What a nice punt. For the two. You have to almost... You almost have to run it out of here. Miller is in motion at the goal line. No, they will pass out of here, and they will be sacked! Jason Babin! Getting in pressure on Matt Castle, and that will most likely ice the game. Free kick now for Kansas City. As Moss is tripped up at the 40 yard line and didn't really get anywhere. Lined up with bunch formation. Christian Sneed, incomplete. Wait, was that Moss on that play? Who almost caught it off the deflection? Anyway, second down and 10 at the 39 yard line. And he breaks it! Nice one! Make Kansas City use his timeout, man. Make him use those timeouts. First down and 10 at the 42. Finds him on Hall to about the 19 yard line. Make him burn another timeout. Let me move down the field, thank you very much. 
as Tennessee is just taking it to the Chiefs of Kansas City. And nice hole, another first down. The Chiefs cannot stop the clock anymore. Up oh, play action. Touchdown, Christian Sneed! And with six seconds to go. Tennessee now leads it 26 to 7. As they are just putting themselves one hell of a game. Will this be returned? No, it will not. But but there's either one or two more plays left in the game. If they complete it, and they don't get out of bounds, that's it. This is it if they complete it. And it is incomplete. It's over anyway. Matt Castle's season is done, and the Chiefs cannot get past the Titans. And they win it by a score of 26 to 7. See you guys in New York.